ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ನಾವು ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಿನಿಷ್ ಲೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಮೇಜ್ ನಾವು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ದ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಡ್ ದಿ ಡ್ರಾ ವಿನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೈಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೈಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಡ್ರಾ ದಟ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ದಿ ಸ್ಪ್ರೈಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಚ್ ಮೈ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಐ ಮ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇ ನ್ಯೂ ರೆಕ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಗಲ್ ಜೀರೋ ಜೀರೋ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ವಿಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಹೈಟ್ then you should give the color color dot white finally close the sprite patch let's run the program this is the game window you create it has already loaded the background image into the screen okay now let's move on now i am going to insert animate animated ball into the game to do that let's insert another new class new item select the code class and rename it as new object sorry let's name it as drawing object still we just create ex- a c sharp class but it still is it doesn't help to the xna framework so we have to copy all the xna using statements then paste below the final using statements okay now inside our class we should have some va- variables first text to d texture then vector to size screen size position velocity okay now i'm writing the constructor first variable is vector texture 2d variable text then we assign values for the our class variables okay i am creating an animated ball so we need the move in method ಟ್ 
to move the object. Inside the move-in method, we should capture the bounce of the screen and bounce back the ball. To do that, I am using this code. This code means if the x coordinate, size of the object, velocity and the position is greater than screen size minus object size. If this one happens, then invert the velocity of the x-axis, same as y-axis. Now it's ok. We have already created our class. Let's save the project and go back, go back to our game class. Now I should create object from object from the class we created. We created draw in object ball. Now assign image the images and other details into uh, into the variable ball equal draw in object first text to d do that content load variable type part of the variable ball then size of the variable sorry size of the ball I have created that ball image with 30 pixel and 30 pixel the next one is position this is the start position of the ball then the velocity I'm giving I'm giving three as the velocity finally screen size is 800 640 okay now we have defined now we have assigned uh, load the content to the ball variable now we should draw it inside the drawing method I'm writing the code strike patch draw now it's ball dot texture ball dot ball dot position then color let's run it again okay now you can see the ball in inside the screen in the screen but still it's not moving that means we have forgot something let's see what it is inside the ball object we created the method called move but we still didn't use that method we have to use that method inside the game object under the update method ball dot move now let's see the output okay now you can see ball is moving all over the screen this is how a simple game created using XNA framework and also this is the end of the first video session in the next video session, you will learn a lot of about the XNA framework and game development. Thank you.